decided to start working on this port just because we're Linux enthusiasts. We both use Linux at home as our desktop operating system and have been for the last ten, more than 10 years. Yeah, since the late 90s anyway. Yeah, exactly. Since um, the, the era where it was really, really painful. So. <laughs> Linux is a great platform. You've got the whole like open thing going. You can do just anything you want. Uh, you can configure every single thing about your desktop. And that's like the most compelling thing about Linux. If there's a bug, you can fix it yourself. If there's something that's not exactly the way you like it, you can change it yourself. It's very, very cool. It gives the user absolute control. There's a lot of uh, exciting developments. Uh, we've got Steam announced that they're coming for Linux. We've got Humble Indie Bundles are exploding right now. They make these collections of games that people can buy, and it's pay what you want, and the money goes to developers, it goes to charities. There are little sliders, you can decide how everything goes. But one of the requirements is the games have to run on Windows, they have to run on Mac, they have to run on Linux. And so up until now, this has been kind of a closed door for, for Unity users. The, the Linux support will enable us to open that door. There are also channels like the Ubuntu Software Center that are increasing in popularity, so it's a good time for games on Linux. A few really successful games that I can think of, um, 2D Boy with World of Goo. Yeah, and also uh, Frictional Games had uh, both the Penumbra and Amnesia series that did well on Linux as well. Yeah, and uh, the indie game Braid has been phenomenally successful both in the, in the Indie Bundle and also on the Ubuntu Software Center. So another thing that we're seeing as a result of this is the explosion of Kickstarter games, promising Linux ports that when they've already chosen Unity, or choosing Unity because they can promise a Linux port now. Wastelands, Clang... Yeah, there's, there's, they're just exploding left and right. Um, a huge number of Kickstarters that have already chosen Unity. Being able to do something that is going to produce content that will make it more enjoyable to use this platform we support is a, a very, um, I guess, fulfilling kind of thing, even though it sounds kind of corny. It's so often been in the case in the past that the availability of games determines whether or not a new platform can succeed. Yeah. So we are hoping that by working on this and doing this, we'll be able to help bridge that gap and give uh, developers a way that they can reach out to this group of users that really does want to play games, and the statistics we have show that they want to and they're willing to pay for them. So we hope that it can both be beneficial to our customers because they're going to have a new market that they can hopefully get some revenue from, and also beneficial to Linux users in general. Mm -hmm.